Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I hope that all is well. If you're new here, I'm the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. If you're returning, welcome back so family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for returning. I hope that all is well. Um, I just finished doing a little reading but I wanted to do maybe a couple more if I have time before work. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and get started. I use some theme bowl. If you guys have headphones, be aware. I will begin in three, two. specific reading might be just to serve someone as a confirmation in regards to a relationship or um, a friendship or some kind of situation like that there's something that you have been inquiring about someone in particular um, if this is love related or something it's definitely not my my typical type of readings or messages that come through but um, I feel like this may be love related. So let's see what message needs to come through to bring some clarity and confirmation to someone who needs to hear. As always, information, disclaimers, and decks are in the description down below. If you need to or want to have a look, please do so. If you'd like to check out some of my outfits or other things like that or inquire about a reading, um, then please feel free to check out my links, my Instagram more specifically. We have new love in reverse. It says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So perhaps you have been thinking about an ex, um, since it is new love in reverse. Um, perhaps this is somebody who you've known for a while. Um, somebody who you've inquired about before. Someone who you've had feelings for for quite some time. I feel like this is not something that happened overnight or this uh, n not anytime very soon. It says heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So definitely if you still have strong feelings for an ex or something and they're single right now, um, if you still have this love for them, I would recommend like have a conversation with them. Now, just because someone says that they don't love you anymore doesn't mean that they literally don't. Um, I've been through that before where someone broke up with me and I professed my feelings for quite some time. And eventually, they finally admitted that they still had feelings for me this whole time, even though they were um, denying it. So, um, I would say, follow your intuition and don't feel crazy. Because the whole time that I felt there's like a slight open, I'm going to pull it apart and see what, deck, what card that is. 
release your ex. <laughs> okay. Um, and then soulmate. Oof. Okay, you guys. So, <sighs> where was I? If you have this strong feeling intuitively within your heart, your body, your mind, your soul, that this person still has feelings for you, and you cannot explain why you still feel like they do because they don't show it to you in the physical world. Maybe they push you away. Maybe they don't talk to you as much as they used to. Maybe they're like fucking around or like, um, like flirting around with a bunch of people or something that doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have feelings for you. Maybe it just means that they're not ready to step up. Now this card here is release your ex in reverse it says the time has come to clear your energy however it is in reverse so again i feel like this is an ex um perhaps for someone in particular it says past life relationship you have known each other before so that definitely is a confirmation here to what i mentioned earlier about how i feel like this is someone you've known for quite some time you have soulmate now it was in reverse but I feel like this is because of the situation that happened here. I think that you feel very heartbroken over it. And because this person has pushed you away that you have denied that you guys are soulmates of a sort. I feel like this is not like in reverse in a way to say it's the opposite. I feel like it's in reverse to stress how... Um, how prominent this energy is it says yes this is your soulmate so um trust your intuition trust what you feel it says this situation is calling for you to have faith um and things take time okay so even if somebody loves you and they are too afraid to admit it for whatever reason it takes time and some people never do but that doesn't necessarily mean that they don't love you and I'm not saying for you to chase this person. I'm not saying for you to wait around for nobody. Um, but if this is your situation, you'll know it. All right. So let's get some more idea of who this person can be. Ooh. Okay. So we have Avenger and Healer. So these cards... Um, came out kind of sideways kind of in reverse so let's see it says light attributes desire to balance the scales of justice righteousness on behalf of society or oneself shadow attribute resorting to violence in the name of a cause so if this card in particular resonates with you I would um, recommend maybe watching one of my last readings uh, then we have healer this one says light attributes passion to serve others by repairing the body mind and spirit ability to help transform pain into healing shadow attribute taking advantage of those who need help failing to care for oneself all right i feel like we need more than that but we have thief underneath so let's see light attribute sheds light on your potential wealth within you that can never be stolen shadow attributes stealing money creative ideas affection or other powers you think you lacked or lack excuse me i feel like this may be especially i suppose if it's a relationship like soulmate relationship this could be a twin flame take that as you may um, I'm definitely getting like runner chaser dynamic I'm getting that someone is uh, doing whatever they want to please themselves and kind of like pushing the other person which I feel like is you who is more of the healer pushing away the love that you try to give to them trying, and they're trying to find it in other places, situations, or people. Now, if that doesn't resonate with you, 
don't take it as an end all be all of course use your discretion um just like with any tarot reading from any reader like don't take it as a concrete um like yes or no in a way you have to know what resonates with your soul and this thief part i feel like it's definitely been very difficult for you and you feel like this person just came took your heart and left without so much as like a care in the world like it feels very harmful like it hurt a lot let's see if we could get some more ideas as to who this person can be We have the cloud. This could be an air sign, possibly. This could be someone who's very aloof, very daydreamer, very, um, they could be somebody who's mystical. They could be someone who comes and goes, someone who's pretty, Either they can be transparent to you when you ask them a question or some of them the opposite. This is somebody who might be very intuitive um, as well, but may have a hard time expressing how they feel. They're, they may be someone who's kind of in like a daydream that they... Um, Maybe they talk about the matrix a lot. Maybe they're just trying to figure out how to better themselves, but at the same time, they're over here kind of just, okay. I feel like this person is afraid of this connection because if it is a soulmate or twin flame connection, then it's a very scary thing. It's very different, but very real to this person, or surreal, I should say. Um, and so this person doesn't want to face the truth of a situation. Maybe they don't want to take responsibility for their own actions. Um, they just want to kind of like party up and um, like do what they want to do and not take anyone else into consideration at this moment. Maybe they're younger than you, or maybe they're younger than you. They don't have to be like a year younger than you or something. They could be born the same year, but maybe like a few months after you. Take that as you mean. Maybe their name is Claudia, or maybe your name is Claudia, or maybe their name means cloud, or maybe it's like Nube, or like, I don't know, something like that. So this next card is called the Bubbles. Um, so now I'm getting like water sign energy here. We have air, we have water. I noticed both of these cards, let me see something, okay, a lot of these cards, they have their eyes closed, hmm. 
But I noticed in... Okay, some of them, they do have it like that too. But something that I have noticed about these two cards... And it is something that it, like seems to be kind of like a reoccurring theme in this deck. I saw 1515. But both of them have their eyes closed and their hands are in front of them. Kind of like a uh, hand over hand. <laughs> Maybe this is the type of person that just gets like sweaty palm and very nervous and shy just thinking about like holding hands with you or vice versa. You guys could be a uh, water sign, could be a air sign, a mixture of the two. Maybe this is maybe there's something here about living near an ocean or a body of water like a lake a creek maybe someone likes to go fishing which i feel like is a very specific message this person might be very playful maybe they joke around a lot um, maybe they seem innocent in certain ways or inexperienced in ways. But I feel like this person can be loud. They can be... Let's see. Like have a bubbly personality too. This could be you or them. Maybe this person or you have like curly hair, like an afro, or like, um, uh, like big hair. I see wavy hair as well. It could be short or long, but I feel like it's not too, too short. Hmm. Let's see what we have underneath here. We have the fly. This is not a phoenix energy, but it's giving me a phoenix energy. So like this desire for transformation that you have is so strong that um, I feel like that's what's showing in this card here. This... Uh, I'll call it a dragon. <laughs> this dragon is a white dragon. It's definitely going with the theme here about like this innocence or this um, naivety. Now we're all naive in some way, shape, or form about certain things. You may know about certain things that I may not know about and vice versa. That doesn't make somebody stupid. It just means that you are more well-versed in something that I might not be, vice versa, or whatever the case is. So being naive isn't always, like, a bad thing. But maybe this person's the type of person who, or you, likes to learn a lot, or learn a little bit about a lot of stuff. Or maybe they're just so, like, stuck in their fandom or stuck in their like ways in their interests that they are kind of like maybe close-minded to try new things those are very like different messages but I didn't mean for this video to be that long to split it I'll pull one from each we have fifth house passion performance entertainment creativity costume play love affairs joy play pleasure parties children humor romance disco ball 
So this definitely could be a love interest. Cancer. Feeling sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic, protective, intuitive, birthing, tender, nocturnal, caring, moody, um, receptive, lunar, sentimental, introverted, defensive, family oriented. So again, this could be a water sign or you can be a water sign. And then we have eighth house intimacy. It says investments, intensity, contracts, sex, erotic capital, um, secrets, mysteries, obsessions, inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking, and the underworld. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of cycles here about like there needing to be changes perhaps um, when you guys were together if you guys were or when you guys were closer like there was a lot of like hot cold energy I feel like it's very like hot cold hot cold hot cold um, uh, a lot of like repetitiveness a lot of need for change um, <laughs> This may be like a little message for someone very specific, but maybe this is the type of person or maybe you're the type of person who likes to be intimate, like uh, very much the same way every time. So this may be someone who's not that experimental. They might love feeling you and being in your energy but um that this person may struggle to change it up or to try something new maybe you are like hey i have these things let's let's try them out let's play with them together and stuff and this person might not feel comfortable really exploring their sexual side even though they seem to be a very sexual person perhaps um, or vice versa, maybe you struggle with some jealousy or maybe you struggle with some insecurities or uh, different things like that. That may have been a reason why uh, this relationship has been very difficult. So let's see. Let me go ahead. I'm just going to read really quick. So we have semi sextile. This is allowing. It says, encourages, sees the potential and clarifies, gives hopes to, uh, compensates, intuits, tempers, responds, cycle, grows, realizes, and rewards. Okay. Then we have Pluto transformation, renewal, inner resource, basic instinct, motivation, personal power, evolution, composting. Um, cycles, death, rebirth, subversion, suspicion, obsession, intensity, reckoning, taboos, clearing, and extremes. And then we have Saturn, wisdom. This is discipline, structure, time, responsibility, test, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container, bones, maturity, gravity, and scaffolding. So there's a lot here about wanting to really ground this relationship, but really struggling to find a balance um, and the healing necessary. Is that something metal in here? I do. These are not meant to be in there. Interesting. I have a couple like charms in here when this is not like my charm bag it's my interesting okay so I will definitely use those in your reading right now as well and pull some handwritten notes um, also like little note things So right away, notice here's the number 12. And interestingly enough, the number six, so six and six make 12. One and two make three, three and three is six. Oh, that's a lot. 
all right well we're gonna go with that i guess <laughs> okay so six may be significant maybe you really love this person maybe you're trying to manifest them um again there's a need for reciprocity for balance you might want to watch the previous reading before this um let's see we have this little chest here it made me think of a mimic maybe you guys are into like DD, &D. maybe you're into like mmorpgs or games like that rpgs i feel like this person has you as like that little secret in the box in the corner of their heart or vice versa now we have this one as well so this is to find your way it says may i never lose my way in storms or bad weather even when the way is unknown so what i feel like this is definitely saying to you is that even if you don't know if this person's going to come back or if they're going to change their ways or if you are or whatever the case is i feel like this is saying to not lose track of what is important to you and to know that you'll never lose your way just always strive to progress and move forward so there's a lot of like little notes here so i'll go ahead and go through them quickly make what you will from them some of them may be contradicting but uh, let's see it says praise a fine day at night so be grateful for the day at night so what i feel like this is saying is like at the end of the tunnel despite everything that you've been through you're going to be grateful for it and i can definitely say that is true even though we never want to experience the bullshit that we do in our relationships or whatever the case is, what we have gone through will only make us stronger or tear us apart. And the good thing about that is that it really shows who really wants you and who's really going to be there, stick by you, and make the changes necessary to find balance together. Trust in the union of intelligence and integrity probably won't see that but just in the union of intelligence and integrity so maybe this maybe you or this person is uh, very smart and um, like honest or loyal or uh, what's the word like reliable we have sisters so um, hmm close I feel a couple messages so this could be someone that your sister invited you or introduced you to or vice versa maybe you're close to their sister maybe there's something here about your sister kind of interfering um, in some sort of way Maybe this person is like a soul sister to you and you guys don't have to be the same sex. Even if you're opposite sex, I feel like this person just feels like family. So we have tarot and oracles. So I mentioned this person could be very intuitive and um, like a water sign or something. So I feel like this is a confirmation to that. Or maybe you've been wanting to get a tarot or oracle reading. If you're interested in that, I'm available so are many others uh don't be afraid to ask um a tarot reader if they do that now we have chaos so it really is prevalent that um this relationship has brought upon a lot of discourse a lot of chaos in your life interesting we have speak your mind I mentioned speak speaking your mind actually in the reading before this so definitely if you feel drawn to that then consider watching that we have fantasy definitely goes with what i was saying about um mmorpgs rpgs role-playing games um that's what an rpg stands for uh dungeons and dragons things like that or um a fantasy like this person fantasizes about you or you still fantasize about them we have vision so this is saying like uh Despite how you're feeling in this situation, have your priorities set on bettering yourself. Gambler, maybe this person gambles or maybe you do. Maybe that's a, um, a reason why there was a separation and we did have Thief here, so maybe they've taken from you. 
We have fast, so maybe as quickly as they came, they left. We have superheated. Um, you guys may be very thirsty for each other, or by okay, and then we had Kama Sutra, so you guys definitely may be thirsty for each other and fat fantasizing about each other unspoken. Um, it says this next one good things will come to you in due course of time so uh, focus on yourself focus on what you need to get done um, have your priorities set past so like the first card this is someone from your past I don't feel like this is someone new we have cups so again we have more water energy there's a lot of emotion here a lot of investment of that we have birthdays, so maybe their birthday is coming up or yours. Interesting, you have marriage too. So marriage and birthday. Maybe this is someone you guys have talked about getting married together at some point. Um, maybe there's something that might happen around someone's birthday. Again, maybe there's something about like an age difference here. All right. Well... I'll go ahead and leave this reading here. I hope that it brought you some clarity and perspective into your situation. I hope you'll consider sticking around. And um, I'll go ahead and show my outfit of the day if you're interested. Let's see. So, um, I've been wanting to do this more often. I don't do it often, but I have my little headdress here. My bolero with a little hood in the back my dress which I did an unboxing of if you're interested and then I have my petticoat my bloomers my um, socks and yes I'm hairy I'm a hairy bitch all right so that was that if you're interested in seeing more outfit pictures and stuff like that check out my Instagram um, stay tuned if you're interested in like a wardrobe video because I have been thinking about making one more and more so I will let you go here I have to prepare to head off to work soon so thank you guys so much for joining um, again I hope it brought you some clarity and perspective into your situation and I hope to see you in the next video wish you the best and see you around